was going on here in the United States in 1900 and what is currently going on even now with the blue zones. You go to the soil and you go to the water and that contains a great deal of these metals that I was referring to earlier. And these metals at, at the atomic level are vibrating like razor blades in a really fast motion. And within our bodies, our self-healing potential uses those to go after either rogue cells or infectious elements like COVID-19, and it chews them up. In the case of COVID, it's a virus, and all viruses do not have protection systems against these metals that are vibrating at really high rates of speed. A really good example is silver. Um, the, uh, the research being done now worldwide at the university levels, and it's widely published, shows that silver down at the one nanometer, even the sub nanometer level, can just chew up viruses without any problem whatsoever and not cause any damage whatsoever to the human being at dosages that are, again, very effective against uh, viruses, but not harmful at all to even babies. And yet we're not talking about that. Right. We're talking about setting up these vaccines that um, have a very poor rate of success historically with, a, with the exception of the smallpox vaccine. So uh, the self-healing potential is based upon the soil and the water and the metals and the lack of environmental toxins. Uh, one example that's not well known, uh, Aaron Blair, who is uh, one of the chairs of the Department of Epidemiology under National Cancer Institute, in, 19, in 2004, he published that up to about 90% of cancer in this country is due to environmental toxicities that industry puts into the environment. And that includes, of course, smoking. So if you also look at what is the reverse of that, how, how do we get out of this? Um, it's the same technique. You look at detoxification procedures. You look at a really super nutritious food supply like the long living. You look at uh, exercise to get oxygen into the system. You look at very special foods that are very high in proteins and uh, that we eat in a raw state. And then you have your positive attitude. And with those mixed up, that's what you're looking at with the long living cultures. And then one last thing I want to mention. Mm -hmm. Uh, today, because we're so degenerate here in civilization, whether it's in Europe or the United States, if you add in bioidentical hormones and then these other factors that I just went over, wow, you can turn things around on a dime, even the worst kinds of conditions. Um, I think you were interested, uh, Shane, uh, in talking about things like diabetes and uh, you just mentioned heart disease and other mm -hmm. factors. Um, this is the ability of our body with enzymes activated by minerals and other nutrients, coenzyme factors like vitamins, to heal itself from these conditions and to undo uh, premature aging. 